you don't have to spend a dollar to reap the benefits of physical activity. The misconception often is that you have to be in a gym and you have to be around people, but a lot of people don't like to be around people for one thing. You know, in your home you can do things like push-ups, you know, body resistance, you can do dips, you know, if you find a chair, you just put your hands on the back of a chair and do dips. Um, you can do um, lightweight resistance, push-ups, you know, put your knees down if you're not used to doing push-ups. You know, be careful with that, especially if you have any kind of neck issues. Um, you can do lunges. Lunges are great. They will make you very sore, so start with only like 10. You don't want to, you know, knock yourself out with like 100 in the first try because you will not be walking the next day. Um, but there's a lot of things that you can do. You know, even just arm circles for people who are just starting out. Those actually will make you pretty sore in the beginning as well, but you know, they'll, all those things are just body resistance things. Um, you know, getting on the floor and just kind of doing leg raises even, or some abs, all those things are great. We all hear about the endorphins get going. It's great for self-confidence. You know, people don't think about that. Once they even start exercising one to two to three days in a row for the week, um, their, their self-confidence is already better. You know, it doesn't matter if, you, if they've even seen a change yet. It just gets their mind better. The anxiety goes down. The endorphins get going. It also helps you sleep better, so it improves mood. You know, your sleep gets better. It improves mood immediately. Um, and, you know, when your confidence is better, of course your mood's going to get better. Uh, your interactions with people are better throughout the day. I just think that anxiety in general goes down. The social aspect of that, even if you're only walking or running or doing something small with people, um, just that social aspect of it and kind of once your endorphins get going, telling a piece of your story to somebody else and letting them tell theirs and listening to that is a huge part of your mental health. We just want people to get moving. It's such an important part of, they've found that if you just get yourself moving the first two to three to four days, it starts creating that habit rather than sitting there playing video games, watching TV. You just gotta get the inertia to start getting, getting moving and, and get the cycle going. And it will create a habit. It just takes a few days. And then once the habit becomes a few days, it becomes a few weeks, it becomes a few months, and then it gets ingrained. And you don't have to have a dollar to do it. Just get yourself up off the couch.